Where's Jack Black? I don't think he's in this one. I think, I think, well, he's not in this one, one, and two, like the guy in the, I, I know you probably just joke, but like the guy in the commercial for Dead Island 2 original, it was the like famous Jack Black impersonator, Jack Black, Jack Black impersonator guy. He's the guy who does the voice in, I think, the cartoon, uh, the, the Kung Fu Panda TV show. <laughs> you are a zombie. Oh, this is the Wakazashi. Oh, do we walk in and Zashin? Sorry about all this. Sorry about all this. I'm just, I'm just so into sloshing around. I'm like water. I'm like a water man. This game have a cool chainsaw. See, I'm wondering, but probably not. I'd be surprised if the Graham had a chainsaw, honestly. It would be cool, but I'm thinking not. I'm thinking this might not be a game with a chainsaw in it, even though I want that. And even then, like, when you do a chainsaw in a video game like this, usually it uses fuel. I like that a lot of the weapons are kind of like your standard normal-ass weapons, but also I kind of want some more weird and wacky shit, personally. What a little bit more wacky, you know? I, mean, I feel like it could have gone a little bit more into the whack shit fuck shit. You know, she has DD-09. I think this lady has a Star Wars droid and I'm fucking terrified. Are you going to fucking Star Wars me? I don't- I'm not looking forward to getting Star wars game. I'm sorry. Please don't fucking Star Wars me. Feeling good. Feeling pretty fine. Gonna drink a Coke with a little bit of lime. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty epic. Gonna drink a Dr. Pepper and then say epic. I can rhyme epic with epic. Shut up. Oh, there is a fast travel map. Awesome. Can you repair the weapons? You can. Yeah, you can repair any weapons and I think you can at least level them up to your level at least once. Uh, but I don't know if there's a post-game in the game yet. I've been doing a lot of goofing. I do- I do BSB a lot of goofing. Number one goof streamer on the site. Well, sorry, number three goof streamer on the site. Let's be realistic here. Oh, is this a safe zone? Neat. Let me back into the movie. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be a movie star. I'm gonna fight a giant spider. I'm gonna be a movie star. What are you gonna do? Stop me? You can't stop me. I'm gonna be a giant movie star, just like the big spider. I'm going to transform horribly into a giant spider. I'm going to necromorph spider you. I'm so fucking sorry. You're going to be walking outside and you're going to see me giant spider, but made entirely of man flesh. And you're going to go, whoa, you think we can rob a bank together? And then me, giant spider, you normal. We're going to rob a bank. Hostile infected. Kill them all. Sarah Shepard from Space Movie. Oh God, she does have a little Star Wars robot. It's so fucked up. And is it alive? She have a Star Wars robot real? I'm jealous. I wish I had a Star Wars robot real. I forgot I can hit him with the hands. I can make a little problem for him. Big boy. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm normal, I'm normal, I'm normal. Try to make noise. You like Animal Crossing? Just be like that. Be like the... I don't want to be anybody's fucking Hungry Man TV dinner with extra Salisbury steak sauce. Stop this. Maybe grow up a little bit, Inferno Crusher. Maybe give me that big boy pickaxe. The smell, absolutely, it should be called smell -A with all the fucking rotted, fetid flesh. I'm just saying. More like smell -A. Robot merchandise milker. Milker? This robot got milk inside of it? I gotta take Dee Dee with me. I gotta take the funny little robot in the bag. Can't wait. I hope it's a little orb like BB, what is BB, BB-8? BB, <laughs> BB-8? He's in a bag. I, pff, you really want me to take the boy in the bag? I'll take the boy in the bag. There's a man inside this bag. What will you do? There's a man inside this bag. Will you rescue him or will you leave him? For a while in my TikTok al algorithm, I kept getting this fucking, uh, this shit from this specific movie where, um, it's about like a dude in a bag and the dude in the bag, whenever he like cries or whatever, he spits gold coins out of his mouth. And I was thinking, what if there was a guy in there? What if there was, what if it's not DD9? What if it's a man? And every time I drop him, he spits gold coins out of his mouth. That'd be crazy. I'd have so many coins. I don't even want gold coins, though, personally. If I found a man in a bag and he spat, he spat like, gold coins out of his mouth, I'd let him free. I'd let him out. Because you want that guy on your side, right? You don't want that, like, short-term investment on that shit. You want the long-term investment on that shit. And what I'm thinking about is, if there's a man in a bag and he spits coins out of his mouth, and I make friends with him, that man's gonna set me up for fucking life. 100%. Ain't no way I'm not gonna make that man my buddy, my guy. But right, that's just you. What? I spit golden coins out of my mouth? Not true, actually. I Do you think I would be an internet entertainer? I would still be an internet entertainer, but I would have a lot of money and I would run to every pawn shop spitting gold coins out of my fucking mouth. Brennan right, spits out chocolate coins with foil. See, that's what I want. If I, if I was a man who spat coins out of my mouth, I'd hope they'd be chocolate coins. But please don't put me in a bag and then hurt me so I cry and then spit chocolate coins out of my mouth. Please. There he go. Big boy boom, be like, what is DD9 saying? Is he saying, I gotta take a leak? 
I gotta take a shit. Robots don't shit, and you're not gonna be able to trick me with that. I've had enough people say me, dude, robots do shit, and then they dress up like a robot, and they use my bathroom and eat all my food, because I got confused again, and I thought they were a robot, and I'm pissed about it. DD9, please, I'm just trying to... DD9, please. DD9 is saying horribly racist things. I hope not. Sebastian, I got your funny little robot boy. Look at he in his silly armor. Oh, he's gaming. He's cyber gaming. Oh, he's fully in character. He's a method actor. This dude do be method acting. This dude do be method acting and I'm sick of this shit. Listen, this is my character, the famous poop shitter. I have to take a shit in everybody's toilet. Let me into your home so I can build my character to be better. Not falling for it again. Not falling for it again. Not letting you into my home because you want to method act as the famous poop shitter, Jared Leto. It's not happening again. What if kidney stones but golden nuggets? I am glad I saw that. Would you risk the pain, though? Like, okay, you get a kidney stone once a month, and it's really painful, and you have to pass it, but it's gold. Would the pain be worth the money? I mean, people endure way more painful things for money. People endure, like, back-breaking, nightmare-shaking labor for money. So I'd probably do it. How much is the gold worth? Uh, every month, a, a gold nugget comes out of your pee hole. It's pure gold, and it's worth uh, 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 two thousand dollars. But you, you, it takes a full week to pass it. So it's two grand a month, uh, but you have to deal with the pain for a full week before you pass it. And the more pain meds you take, the the more impure the gold becomes. Non-taxed. Is it $2,000 taxed? It depends. If you're really good if you're really good at bargaining, you could probably sell it to a pawn shop for more or less if you're a bad bargainer. There are mods that just add, like, the weakening to guns. I think that's the ones I have to go for. Because, like, the elemental stuff is cool, but then you introduce the firefighter zombies, and they're, weak, they're resistant to almost all elemental damage, and I just... That's the shit that I'm like, meh. This is beyond cringe. My dumb robot nearly got me... Cringe! This is beyond cringe! She's gonna hate me! Click. Snap that one for my cringe compilation. Fucking gotcha. Oh, jeez, Rick. This is pretty cringe. Man, I wish it was a unique weapon. It's cool. What did I get? A cremator? The cremator zombie axe? Like, that's neat and all, but I wish it was a unique weapon, especially since they did, like, a space side quest. That's what I feel like this game might be missing, honestly, for me. That might that might miss the boat on that for me, is lack of unique weaponry. The weaponry there is cool, but I feel like, I, I feel like having, like, funny weapons or, like, uniques... Especially with, with with any game with loot rarity, if you don't take advantage of the loot rarity and do, like, unique style weapons, what's the fucking p -p 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 point? Should have been, like, a prop lightsaber or something, yeah. That's something I think Dying Light does. That's, thing, that's something Dead Island 1 did really well. Like, weird, unique weapons that were very hard to get. Anytime I see Ricky, I think of the fucking American Dad bit. I think of Ricky Spanish. Which is still, to this day, one of my favorite American Dad bits. That Roger just has this persona he's forgotten that is an absolute fucking tool in every way. I love it. American Dad might be the best Seth MacFarlane property. Genuinely funny 80% of the time. Good morning, U.S. It's, it's, yeah, American Dad also has the banging theme song. Good morning, USA. I've got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on her face. And he's signing a little to the American race. Oh boy, it's swell to say. And then Roger comes out and just screams. Good bit. Good show. I love that they literally did a labyrinth episode of uh, American Dad. And also, it's got a, uh, you know, American Dad has fucking uh, Patrick Stewart in it, so. But then again, the Cleveland show, oftentimes I always forget that in the Cleveland show, David Lynch voices the bartender. And every time I think about that, I'm like, how in the fuck did they walk David Lynch into that recording booth and get him to record shit like, you know, Cleveland from Family Guy, would you like a drink of some of this? Ported whiskey! Like, <laughs> also, can I just say, sound design in this game is kind of weirdly insane. Like, the way that guns feel like you're shooting a gun in a house. Like, and it's notably different, too. Because, like, alright, we'll listen. We'll play a little, we'll play a little trick here. You know, I don't, I don't hear this often, right, in video games. And I don't know if it's good or not, but I do love how, how it is. So, we're gonna play a little sound test. Five shots in the house, and then outside of the house, five shots. Five shots outside of the house. Kind of wild. I've also been in vents in this game, and even the vents felt like it was an enclosed soundscape. Brendan does desk pops every once in a while, so he knows gunfire inside the house. I don't own a gun. I'm sorry. Zombie designs are good. Zombie decay and flesh system is really good. 
Uh, melee combat could be a little bit better. Who are you and what did you do with a real bread, Daniel? I ate a bag of sand and now it's sloshing around inside of me like a weird cement mixture. And it's hardened inside of my tummy. So now every time I jiggle, it sounds like stones clinking around on the ground. Like... <laughs> Games ain't gotta be like the... This game isn't the best game ever made. Therefore, it's shit. Do not buy. I almost, I almost said, do not buy. I never tell a lie. Welcome back to Gaming with Abraham. Four scores and seven years ago, I built some fat movement in Fortnite. And tonight, we're going to crank 90s like it's 1856. I'm <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant would never have... Anything on me, not inviting him into the squad. Welcome back to Gaming Abraham. What's that inside my top hat? Well, look at that. It's a bong. We're gonna do some fat hits and some fat rips while we play Call of Duty, babe. I think Abraham Lincoln hit weed inside of that hat. I'm getting inside of that hat. Where is he buried? Where is Abraham Lincoln buried? I'm getting inside of that hat. He's gotta have some sticky icky in there. Dude, if the apocalypse ever happened, first thing I would do is, okay, I'm going to go find where Abraham Lincoln is buried. Find one of his famous hats and then convert that shit into a bong. Hire me as a creative director for Zombieland 3, I'm just saying. Set it in DC and then, uh, honestly, here, set it in DC. Do an escape. Oh, the drummer's ripped. Do an escape where they have to run up the Lincoln, the, the, not the Lincoln, the Washington Monument. Uh, have, have like, a have like the Lincoln Memorial be all fucked up and crazy. Turn it into a giant stone zombie. I think that'd be cool. Uh, and then smoke weed out of Abraham Lincoln's hat. Did Brendan just get possessed by the ghost of Abraham Lincoln? You know it. Why do you think I'm six foot five? I am Lincoln. Do you believe in past lives? Good. I'm Abraham Lincoln, and I be out here Abraham thinking. You know, ever since, you know, it's kind of weird that ever since I was literally a baby, whenever I saw somebody with a Confederate shirt or a Confederacy shirt, I would point at them and say, loser. Weird how I did that when I was three months old. Oh, is that Misha? Misha the singer. What kind of zombie archetype do you think I would turn into, Chad? It would be Screamer, wouldn't it? You'd be like completing the maze flash game on your computer at home, and then you'd see me at the end and I go, ah! Laboratories all over the United States of A want to fucking look into my brain and see what's fucking popping in there. They would look into my head and be like, wow, your proteins are so foldable and submissive. And I'd say, please stop looking at my prions. Look somewhere else. I showed you my, I showed you my prions. Please respond. Bong! Do you notice how the bong is an enemy? I think this game is trying to say a statement. I think this game is trying to say something about weed smoking. Because, clearly, when you point it at any other object, not a problem. However, when you point it at the bong, the sight becomes red. Meaning that this game indicates that weed is an enemy. Not edibles. Edibles are cool. But if you smoke weed, you're just as bad as a zombie. Know what I'm saying? Weed is evil and is sin. So maybe the next time you think about token up, maybe don't toke up and buy an $850 bong. Sorry, I think this is $850. $850 bong better be made of Abraham Lincoln's skull. I better be able to smoke that shit. No way a guy who smokes weed has $850 of disposable income. No, cocaine is the disposable income drug. Still mad that guitars aren't a fucking weapon with how many guitars there are. Literally, you get clubs. A guitar is just a club. Come on, dude. A guitar is a classic zombie slaying weapon, and you put all these guitars here. Dead Island, 5 out of 10. Can't smash a zombie with a guitar. Fuck you, dude. Bad game. Maybe grow up and play a good video game. Like Sandwich Hospital. I'm implying that there's a video game called Sandwich Hospital and now I want one. It's where it's a video game idea that I have where you send sandwiches to the hospital and you have to fix them because they got fucked up by a bad chef. As a six foot, if, you, if you're tall, if you're above like six foot, don't you fucking love showers like this? I wish the, I wish this was more in the ceiling than there, but man, do I fucking love a shower with like a big, like I can stand under it and then I can grab little fingers and then wash my body off. Feels good to be able to fully stand under a shower head. It's rare. I mean, I'm not like seven, 17 feet tall with a dick that can kill God, but like feels good, you know, big boy. This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy knows what I'm talking about when I'm talking about how I love a good tall shower. Some hotel showers are ridiculously short. Yeah, I love going to hotels though and showering. Uh, because, like, I can just let the water run as long as I want. I don't have a water bill to pay. I don't have to worry about it. Why is there... They got the same shower outside? That's wacky. You be showering out here in the buff? Bomb has been planted. Counter-terrorists win. It's non-stop popping at the zombie factory. Whoa, Clumzo made a little oopsie at the zombie factory. Now they're making the zombies extra large. Damn it, Clumzo! Oh, God, the tongue? Oh. Oh, they got the tongue. Oh, God. 
Mm. I see that and I just think, God, it's gotta fucking hurt to eat spicy food for the first time with that son of a bitch. Whenever I see like the tongue split, I'm just like, yep, good for you, proud of you. Enjoy the, the spice nightmare. Oh shit, why did that blow up? Grow up maybe. Perhaps don't send a big fire after me. What did I do? What did I do to make God angry? Gotta ask that once a day, every day. When I wake up, I look at the sky, I look at the ceiling, and I say, What did I do to make God angry at me? Why do I wake up and there's frogs in my yard every morning like it rained frogs? What did I do to make God angry? Yes, please electrify them, but not me. Leave me be. I don't wanna get fucking Plapatine. Stay away. Don't touch me with your ele electricity. I don't wanna be like Frankenstein, this monster. You ever been in a conversation with somebody who gets way too obsessed with, like, um, actually? The name of the monster is Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein is the name of the scientist. Uh, so when you say Frankenstein, uh, that's not Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein's monster, dude. Uh, Mary Shelley didn't write that book and then die in a hole for you to call it Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein's monster. Ah, you can say Frankenstein. I give you permission. I give you permission to say Frankenstein instead of Frankenstein's monster. You know why? Because if you wanted to, if you wanted to say, like... If you want to talk about the doctor, you'd say Victor Frankenstein. If you want to talk about the monster, you say Frankenstein. It's like, you know how some people have, like, their last name is their nickname? It's just his last name. He's Dr. Frankenstein's son. Brandon, what's with you and female authors dying alone in holes? I mean, everybody dies in a hole. Brandon, what's the worst book you've read? All right, let me tell you. Right now, I'm reading what is, uh... Somebody may be familiar with it. So, right now, I'm reading the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series because I wanted to read some schlock. It is... I've read the first seven books, six, seven books now... And, um, it is impressively schlocky. So the first, like, arc of the book, overarching... There's 30 books of these, by the way. There's 30 of these books. Every book after the first one keeps getting more horny. And I mean, like, it's gotten consistently more horny. Every book starting from one. And it's about this chick who's like a necromancer and she raises the dead. And she also helps the police investigate vampires and werewolves or whatever, right? So, first couple of books... She gets herself into a relationship with a vamp with a with a werewolf, and then uh, because the werewolf, uh, the vampire king of the city of St. Louis is jealous, she also starts dating the vampire king of St. Louis, which is definitely something. And they don't have sex uh, for a while. In the fourth book, she's talking to her werewolf BF, and she's like, "I can't have sex before marriage." And you're like, "What? I thought this was kind of a horny book series. I thought this book series was going to be a little horny. That's why there's so many of them, and I wanted some schlock to read." And it's like four books in, and she tells her werewolf BF, no sex before marriage. And I was like, what? 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 So there's no sex scenes until book six. And then it's like she's not even going for the werewolf guy. She has sex with her vampire GF, who is vampire BF, who is like jealous of sex in general. And you're like, what? And the werewolf guy gets mad. And then my wife apparently had read these books. When she was a kid and she read up to like book 12 or 13 and apparently it gets so horny to the point where like the main character who was a prude and is now like horny as all hell and having sex every day uh, gets like a sex disease or a sex curse. Apparently, I haven't read it at that point. This is from my wife's mouth. Apparently, the main character gets a sex curse and she has to like take her bodyguards and color code them so that she knows which ones are okay to have sex with her. This was written by a woman, not a man. So I'm really afraid because there's 29 books of these from like 1997 to this year. And I'm really terrified because it's already getting a little more horny. And so when I read the next book, I'm really terrified that it's going to just keep escalating the horny until like there's a sex orb, Please right? So far, it's not the worst book I've ever read, but it's definitely getting there. And I keep reading them. I know it's gonna get worse. What's the series called? It's called Anita Blake Vampire Hunter. Let's see, man's wanted us to do a whiskey quest. Creature comforts. That's me for some people. I'm a creature and I comfort many. I am a creature comfort. Insane. I am a creature and I do be comforting. Wait a minute, that sounds like I'm making a comfort. I'm not. Do not go to your local hill. There will not be a comfort there. <laughs> what even is a comfort? Is it like a pillow fort but made of cum? I, uh, I don't want to get too into this. I don't want to get too into the comfort law, like the comfort fucking logic. I don't want to get too into it. Bye bye. Oh, I like that. Good bit. Oh God. Looks like somebody fell in the cum for today. I, I'm looking for whiskey. I'm mighty thirsty. I'm very parched. Out of there, partner. Very parched. Looking for some whiskey. Leg. I always like that they leave one leg just for me. When I'm when I'm a little hungry and I want my little leg treat, they always leave a little leg for me. Fine, hotted dog and rib meal. Yes. 
I love eating my meal. Two burgers, one hot dog, and a bag of moldy bread. You, you know how to treat a streamer, eh? You really know how to treat a streamer. How did you know that moldy bread is my favorite streamer snack? Mmm! Brandon, I have to go to bed. Please keep streaming for the next eight hours so I can watch your stream again when I wake up. No? But I hope you have a nice sleep. And I hope when you dream, inside of your dream, there's a little stone man. And he turns slowly to look at you. And his head, when it turns, makes the sign of a rock moving. And he opens his mouth. And he says words that you can't understand. And he points right behind you. And when you turn around, there's a colossal stone man. And his head also spins around. And he also points at you. And he makes a sound that you could never understand or hear. And then the giant stone man opens up. And inside of him, there's a fully staffed McDonald's. And they still are selling the McPizza and the McDLT. There'd be a crusher. Hmm. <laughs> I do have a crush. Kind of beefy, kind of my type. Come here, let me smack those abs a little bit, dude. We're gonna pretend like you're the Superman guy and I'm gonna break a two by four on your fucking tummy. Woo! It's not a two by four though, it's a hammer. This is the this is the weapon with which to pound nails into the two by four. Different kind of thingus. You once, you, had, you once said you had poop flavored G Fuel coming out. Is that still happening? That was a joke, what? No, I don't have G, do you think fucking I have a G Fuel sponsorship? Think they'd give me a flavor? Oh, I got shotgunned. I'm fine. You really think they'd give me a flavor? They wouldn't let me. They would never. They would never. Cowards. A lot of them. The Bernaniel G Fuel flavor would be something scuffed. Uh, pork and beans. That's why they'd never give me a G Fuel flavor. If I if I got like a real one, it'd be pork and beans. Because I'm like, I, I would definitely want a gag flavor. A flavor that A, makes you gag, and a flavor that B, you could buy as a present for your little brother that watches Fortnite streams. And he could be like, who, who the fuck? Why is this a G Fuel pork and beans flavor? What the hell, dude? And I would put, I would make sure that the Weezer Red album would be on the front of it. So they would never give me a G Fuel flavor. They would never let Brent Daniel put the Weezer Red album on the front of this shit. I'ma do the things that I wanna do. I ain't got a lot to prove to you. I'ma eat my candy with the pork and beans. Excuse my manners if I make a scene. Put Hurley on it. Hurley from Lost? Hi, my name's Brent Daniel. And have you been thinking about getting a little bit of a gamer drink that's a little bit more beefy and meaty? Now introducing my own flavor, Pork and Beans G Fuel. For all of those who want a little snack, you can get that and more and feel really good about it. Lovely. Hurley is a Weezer album, look it up. <laughs> me when I fucking look up Hurley and I just see me throwing up, fucked up. Oh my God, I just figured it out. I'm not even a person. I'm just a Weezer album come to life. This is fucking horrible. Horrible new information. Brent Daniel's not even a person. He's just a Weezer album that's gained sentience. Brendan, if you got fossilized instantly, like, say, in Volcanic Rock, and you knew it was gonna happen, what pose would you be in? Jacking off. Instantly. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. If I was- if I was- if I was covered in volcanic ash and became a living statue, just like that guy at Pompeii, I would crank one out. 100% I would crank one out. No regrets. Because motherfuckers are gonna talk about me forever as the guy who cranked one out. Future geologists are gonna be like, this guy really was cranking one out. Huh. People on the internet and the future internet, they're gonna call it the internet too, mind you. People in the future internet and the internet too are always going to talk about that one guy who cranked one out. Lame, unoriginal. What, what else am I gonna do? Come on, who else is gonna crank one out? Nobody else is gonna be thinking about that. I'm gonna be thinking about that when the volcanic ash comes. Same shirt, same shirt. How embarrassing for you zombies. How embarrassing for any zombie who's wearing the same shirt. How embarrassing. I'd be embarrassed if I was undead and somebody's wearing the same clothes as me. But then again, if I ever got be it, like bitten by a zombie and I knew my time was coming, I'd go to the mascot costume. I, I would definitely think it'd be funny to go to like a mas mascot costume shop and wear like a full furry outfit. Even though I'm not a furry, I think it'd be funny. Or you know what? Actually, never mind. I would go and I would go to real Nintendo and wear a big mascot Mario costume. And then I'd walk around as one of the undead, and then somebody would have to put Mario out of his fucking misery, and it would ruin their life. Imagine being the guy in the apocalypse who has to fucking be like, Yeah, I had to double tap Mario today. Fucked up. And I'd give them that joy. Gorilla suit. You know what? Cheap gorilla suit like Spongebob, though. Like the really cheap gorilla suit, like the gorilla in Spongebob. I still think to this day about Santa Claus and Spongebob, where he's like up in the sky, and he's like moving his head and going, Woo! Oh, nice chair. Wish I could sit in this. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again, please. Do it again. It's got I got to be able to recreate it, please. So silly. 
Oh god, oh god. <laughs> On top of old Smokey, all covered in cheese. I fly in the sky as high as I please. I'm just a little gamer. Oh, where'd the chair go? Fuck. There it is. We have a we have a we have a tool. We have a tool now. We finally have a perfect tool. Stop with the bees. I do that with the balls. Can you recreate that with any prop, or is it just the um is it just the chair, maybe? Maybe it's just the chair. Oh, it's up again. It's ready for round two. Don't buy inferior gaming chairs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to recreate that fucking epic moment where I flew into the fucking sky. I also am surprised I didn't die from fall damage from that. The chair is part of me now. It's stuck. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> finally, part woman, part chair. All oh, girth. There we go! That's some fucking height, and you take no fall damage from it either. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. It needs to be upright, and it also needs to be centered up against an object so that it pushes off and then pushes you off. So the way the chair tech works is if I, like, if I get it upright next to an object... Let's see if I can recreate that now. That's the toughest part is getting it upright. All right, so you got to get it upright and near an object. But from the... <laughs> Into the sky! Oh no, it spawned me out of bounds! No, fuck! Oh, dude, here we are. Unreal Engine. Real? Uh, so anyway, I'm out of bounds. I, I broke... I broke... I broke the boundary of Dead Island 2, by the way. There we go! Oh shit, here we go into the void. We're <laughs> I might be fucked. I might have fucked my fuck I might have fucked myself here. Oh no, it's killing me every time now. I'm in a loop. No, fuck, I'm in a loop. <laughs> it kills you automatically here. Don't save. We're fine. We're fine. It it spawns us back in where we need to be. We're fine. We're normal. Okay, awesome. Who? Brent Daniel. Oh, yeah. Is that the first out of bounds glitch? Am I the first? Number one. Put that on my streamer resume. Found the first out of, blo out of bounds glitch for Dead Island 2. Put that on my streamer resume right now. Right fucking now. First man to beat Assassin's Creed Valhalla. First man to discover a fucking out of bounds glitch in Dead Island 2. Put that shit. World first. Put that shit. World first. World first. World premiere. World first. Brennan, give us a secret cooking tip from the Brennaniel cookbook. Okay. Uh, when you're making French toast, when you make the mix, put a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg in that son of a bitch. Also, the best French toast uses Hawaiian bread. Uh, Hawaiian sweet bread is incredibly... It soaks up a lot of goo, and it's just incredibly good all around. There you go. Man, they got these expensive movie cameras and everything. Oh, I'm jealous. Wish I could have that much money to have a big camera like that. Hire me a cameraman to follow me everywhere I go. Document every shit that I take. Weigh it, even. Oh, life's a beach, huh? Yeah, I wish it was, dude. Would love to get the sand between my toes, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, how fun's the nail gun? Pretty fun. I wish it was, uh... wish there was, like, a big nail gun, because I love weapons, like... Like, maybe not a nail gun, per se, or a new nail gun, but, like, a harpoon gun. Because I always love it when you have a weapon that lets you stick enemies to walls. Uh, but for what it is, I think it's pretty good. It's just, like, a better pistol, basically. Sand man. Bum, 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 bum. Burst me a sand. Man, me a man right there out of the sand. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, looks like quarantine became a bit of a warrantine, if you know what I mean. Ah, a monster energy drink. Ah, another four loco for me. I drink two locos at the same time. Call me the eight loco. God, it'd be great if there was a game that let you grill while zombies were attacking you. I just want to make a barbecue for fuck's sake. I just want to make a big... Ooh, this is a pretty area. Who the fuck is that, dude? Ocean Avenue. News. We're alive inside the building. Help us. Breaking news. We're alive inside the building. Help us. Oh, man. I'm going to try to help you all out. Well, I broke the TV. This is heartbreaking. Dude, they're alive inside the building. We got to help them. Breaking news. New burger announced. This revolutionary new burger is the tastiest burger you'll ever have. But it'll be the last one you'll ever taste. Here with us is Barry from Channel 5 News. Hey there, Christine. Hey there, Ron. Uh, big thing about this burger is it's the first burger made completely out of poison. It is not safe to eat, but I've heard it's very tasty. Then you die. Thanks, Ron. Have you tried the burger? Yes. Mmm. Uh, oh. Zesty. Brendan would be a burster for real? Yeah, you see me and my bloated dead corpse shaking and, shaking and baking out in the hot L.A. sun. Is this a... 
Candy vending machine? What it join us? Oh, it's like a soda. It's like a candy vending machine. Why would you have a candy vending machine with that imagery on it? What the fuck? Mmm, eat these gummy worms so you can ascend to your planar form and become one with the universe. Join us on a higher plane of existence. Uh, you eat the worm to become the worm. Like, no, dude. I don't want to eat the worm and become the worm. What the fuck? I don't even know what the worm is. You must join us and ascend to your planar form. Become one with worm. I ain't know what the worm is, dude. I'm so fucking sorry. Oh, there's Stingus. Ah, motherfuckers never look up. Hi. What is this? Luther. Is you stole my bag and I'm very upset. I'm Give my bag things. back. Yeah. It was a limited edition so Think bad. Geek bag of holding messenger bag and I need it now. It was the brown one, not the blue one. Yeah, there's definitely a head inside there. There's gotta be. Either that or it's just all Omaha steaks. Oh, thank you. That was my bag of Omaha steaks. I was saving them for a grill night with the lads. Been two years, but I've kept these steaks and I will keep my promise. It's gotta be a head. It's gonna be a head. Hey, dude, here's your head. Oh, no, hand. He just wants the arm so he can keep fist bumping. That's all he's doing is he's just over there fist bumping with his bro. <sighs> That's all he wants to do is just fist bump with his bro. I... I get that, man. Man, I get that. All he wants to do is chill with his bro, who is now only an arm. Man, that really tugs at my heartstrings. It really do. Brennan, you know that's not what he's going to use the hand for. No! He's not going to use the hand for anything salacious or lusty. He's going to use the hand for friendship things like fist bumps, handshakes, a little... Uh, maybe... May, okay, maybe he jacks off with it a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. But like, what's a little HJ between friends, right? That's what bros do. Of all these burning people, you think he'd be in Arizona and not in LA. I fucking get it. Dude, I get it, because Arizona's fucking hot. Bro, it snows once in Arizona, they're fucking done for. The roads in Arizona get icy once, and they're fucking done for as a state. They will literally fall apart. I feel like that's, uh, like, almost any southern state. Like, one little ice, and my mom got scared and said, there goes our entire power grid. Oop. You could say Big Iron. Big Iron's an easy pick. Fucking... Fallout New Vegas is the best video game I ever played, and there will never be a better video game than Fallout New Vegas. Let go! Let go! You played! You played dead money! Let go! I <laughs> Begin again! <laughs> Holy shit, the boom. It's called a zombie axe. Yeah. I think it's because it's one of those, like, you go on, like, Amazon.com, and they got, like, the zombie survival kit. With the hatch inside. I remember there used to be a YouTube channel like that that tested Ireland? weapons oh, like that against gel torsos. Yeah, do you remember Deadliest Warrior? So many fucking ballistic gel torsos in Deadliest Warrior. That was the place for them to be. Now ballistic gel torsos have to hide and scrape by on whatever they can get. Heartbreaking, in fact, for the ballistic gel torso community. So fucked up and so fucking sad. My heart goes out to the ballistic, all the ballistic gel torso men that have to fight to, to get to their place to get whatever they need to get. God, imagine if one day there's like the ballistic gel torso warehouse, right? And what if all of the ballistic gel torsos wake up and they were all just alive? Fucked up. Writing that down for some, uh, uh, writing that down for my next horror story. I was walking through the ballistic gel torso factory. I worked there late at night for security and I heard whispering in one of the rooms. I walk in and it's like a courtroom and every judge is a ballistic gel torso. And there was a red one in the center like he was on trial and I thought it was kind of weird and kind of fucked up but in fact that ballistic gel torso was the weakest of the bunch the gel torsos with the skeletons would be the strongest ones you're right thanks for being a cool dude even if you do trigger my anxiety <laughs> thanks for being a cool dude even if you do trigger my anxiety thanks I <laughs> I am literally a baby in front of you, cartoonishly holding my hand over the oven flame, going, No, baby, don't! No, that's hot! That's hot! That's fire and it hurts! Interesting. Worth it. That was worth it. Good. 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 Damn, this shit do be burning. Damn, this shit stinky. I smell a bad trip. I still think, I think about this often. Duke Nukem, but what if he was a baby? 
Now, honey, don't put your hand on that. Ouchie. I chihuahua. That shit hurt. My little thingies are fried. Mommy, give band-aid. Mommy, kiss my boo-boo. Make it better. MC spits fire. Damn, I be full of flame. Spitting hot fire. Don't call me lame. Gonna meet a woman. Gonna call her a dame. Spend all night making origami crane. That's okay. I also be spitting. Watch this. Oh, this man inflicted with serious machete head. It happens. If you're wandering in the Walmart home and goods section, you may, in fact, find yourself in a little bit of trouble if somebody slashes a machete directly into your head. Oops. And then you've got blade head. Serious case of blade head may include head hurdy, stummy hurdy, and mm, blade in head. Talk to your local doctor about getting that blade removed, idiot. Especially if you're still alive. That shit sever your brain. Have you been in an accident? Why this man three hands? Interesting. Hi there. Have you been afflicted with all your guts be full of spear? You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call me now with the Brendaniel Law Office and we'll talk about how that spear got up in you. And we'll talk about how your stummy hurt. And if a Spartan warrior threw that spear at you, we're going to get you a settlement real fast. Sloshing in the sewer like my belly after a big Taco Bell meal. I, I do be saying it. Not afraid. You got any worms in your blood? Yeah, there's a bunch in here. Actually, my blood is 100% worm now. Hmm, interesting. Want me to pick up your dry cleaning while I'm at it? Go on. Tell us where it is then. Hopefully. Huh, I like when characters make fun of Fetch Quest by saying, this is totally a Fetch Quest. I'm <laughs> Just once, I want a character to be like, hey, fuck off, maybe. I'm not gonna do what you tell me to do. Oh yeah, I forgot Dwayne Johnson was in Baywatch. This is just like my favorite movie, Baywatch with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's just like my favorite movie with Baywatch actor, actor David Hasselhoff, SpongeBob. The movie. Oh my god, Dwayne got fire on Heat Fist. It's Dwayne! Honestly, for a video game set in LA, I'm genuinely surprised that there's not celebrity cameos in the game. Dying Light 2 has more celebrity cameos than Dead Island 2. Oop. Does Sam Witwer count as a celebrity? No. Uh, Dying Light 2 had Rosario Dawson. That lady from fucking, I don't know, she, was she in Star's War or she was in um, Daredevil? And all the like Marvel stuff? Oh, there's Bundy. Uh, Jonathan Bundy, born on a Monday, died on a Tuesday, born again on a Wednesday. Oh, dude, zombie whale. I'd love that. Now, instead of, instead of fucking whale, we get, uh, instead of inside of whale level, we got a, we got a guy who looks like the whale with Brendan Fraser. So sad. I think the whale with Brendan Fraser would have been a lot better if they shrunk people down and they went inside of his body. We have to find the arterial blockage to save the whale. And also, it would be a much better movie if they referred to Brendan Fraser's character as the whale. And there was a military squad that had to get inside of him uh, to get some uh, information hidden there by a government spy. There we go. I just fixed the whale. Scary clowns don't freak me out. Only normal clowns do. If it's a zombie clown, I can handle it. I'm a big boy. I'm almost 30. I'm a huge boy. If that clown, if it does like an introduction thing and it does, does like a little... I'm losing it. I'm going to be like David Lynch fucking crazy clown time. Honk if you're scared. <laughs> and this is definitely set up to clown scare me. Welcome to Funland Arcade. You're going to have a rockin' good time. Welcome to Funland Arcade. It's going to be hell of a good time here at the Funland Arcade. You can play so many games. You can play the games that you love. And those games are really great. It's crazy clown time! That's not scary. He's got blades for arms. I'm fine. Never mind. He got blades for arms. Not even afraid. When I look at the moon, I think one simple thought. When I went to that gas station in 2007 and got a 64-ounce Mountain Dew with no ice, should I have instead got a 128 Mountain Dew ounce soda pop? with ice because I was mighty thirsty on that road trip and I thought 64 ounces will be enough but it wasn't enough how different my life would be if I doubled the ounces of that dew and drank full from the scepter of nectar laptop is full blood is fuel world is fucked clown 
Oh, he knocked me the fuck out. Is he going to take me back to the clown caves? Please don't take me to the clown caves. Oh, it's like a mask. It's not even the makeup. That's lame. I'm not afraid of that. If it was makeup, I'd be way more afraid. It's a fucking mask. You're not even scary, dude. I'm afraid of normal clowns. This shit don't bug me. This shit just be normal. Fight him. Butcho the clown. Hey, kid. I'm a computer. Stop all the clown loading. Don't you dare take me to the clown caves, Butcho. I'm going to goose you. I'm going to goo you. I don't know why I said goose. Ah, uh, skinless clown. Oh, fuck you and your... Oh, God. Does he auto-dodge bullets? Is that why? Okay, that's how they tried to balance the gunplay, making some specials resistant to... Okay. He auto-blocks bullets. What a loser. Oh, do I just fast travel back there? Oh, never mind. That was a, li that was a good one. That was a good bit. I got tricked. I went up to the fast travel map and it fucking fell off. Great fucking bit. That bit, that gets an 8 out of 10. The world is a vampire. Set to drain you. Good thing I kept the laptop on me after getting warped in the water. That shit got burnt and watered up. And it's still fine and normal. I gotta go find an arrogant food critic. Okay, dude. Man's be like, I will not eat hamburgers. I'm sick of it. Bring me some caviar. Bring me those water cre Bring me a can of fucking chestnuts. Give me a can of water chestnuts now. I'm not going to eat any of this slop anymore. I'm sick of slop. I want creamed corn and I want it now. Where's the fucking food critic at? Where he at? Where he dubious be? Hello, I'm the food critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Food, what was it? What is it? I remember food. Sweet, sweet food. Oh, they're called butchers. Oh my God, dude. I can't even see him. Can't even tell if he's a clown this time. I don't think he is. Ah, oh, no, he's just a crazy guy. Crazy guy full of bone blade. Fucked up. If Dead Space, if they were Necromorphs instead of Necromorphs, the game would be a lot scarier because all the zombies would go, well, yay. Is that the influencer? God damn it, son of a bitch. Hi, Amanda. All right, gamer, let's get gaming. Let me put on my streamer persona. Warning, streamer persona turning on in three, three, two, two. I'll wait until she's done. One. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another zombie kill tastic episode of Dead Island 2. Ready to rip and tear into that fat and fetid flesh. We're going to be playing some bumpus cars here. We got an influencer over there who's telling us exactly what we need to do to be able to fucking kill these zombies. It's going to be an awesome time. Anyway, be sure to remember to like and follow. I thought I was going to get in a bumper car and bumper car the zombies. Damn it. I mean, frying them is fine or whatever, but I really wanted to bumper car them. I'm so happy I'm saving you, bestie. Saying bestie like a military training academy, like, yes, bestie, yes. Haunted mascots are clickbait gold. The kids love it. Did you just make a Five Nights at Fuckboys reference, Amanda? I'm so fucking mad at you. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's where I want to be. Kids love haunted mascots and animatronics. Thanks, Amanda. I'm not said Freddy's. That's where I want to be. Are you winning, bestie? Are you winning, bestie? Yeah. Amanda, you're such a nice friend. Literally yelling, are you winning, bestie? Bestie, are you winning? I did say that I was going to turn her into a donkey in the first stream. Now I'm at Pleasure Island. Oh, God. She's going to turn into a donkey. Oh, God. I'm going to Pinocchio this bitch. Wow, you're actually mad, actually? Yeah. Yeah, I'm mad, actually.